How's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I want to do a quick overview of the Acorns investing app. That's one of the first apps that I started using back in 2016 when I started investing. I talked about it on some of my other investing videos and I promised you guys that I was going to make a video of it. Now because with Acorns, there's not a lot of uh, different strategies that you can use. It's pretty much you put the money in, they invest it for you and all you really do is choose how aggressively you want that money to get invested. And so instead of doing a walk through and then a strategy video I'm just gonna do both of them in one like I said it's because it's really simple there's a lot of things about this app that I like but I especially like the fact that it's very low maintenance there's nothing really that you need to do or check on a daily basis and so you just put the money in there and just watch it grow and so without any further ado let's just get into the app alright guys so we're gonna get into my little finance uh, folder here and we're gonna start up acorns and then just log in with my fingerprint All right, so you can see right there, the first thing when you log in, it tells you what your investment amount is right now. So you can tell right there that I've got uh, $6,400 invested. This main screen is pretty much a lot of advertising. They show you a lot of the different tools that you can use on Acorns. Most of the stuff is not really interesting to me. The Spend Smarter uh, tab is basically the visa that they're offering. And this Earn Found Money uh, tab here is basically all the companies that Acorns associates with and because you link credit cards to your acorns account uh, to keep track of your spending and all that if they find any kind of purchases from these companies here you get a little kickback uh, and acorns gets a little kickback too all your knowledge is basically information on how to invest and then this other stuff is just a lot of information but some of the things you can do is uh, do a one-time deposit you can apply for that card and again the companies show up there but let's get into the past tab. So this tab is going to give you a lot of the data points from your account. So you can see that I invested a total of 11400 Now it doesn't make sense because I only have 6000 on there. But that's because after I started using this app, I withdrew all the money and put it on Robinhood. And then I started investing again. So it's counting the money that I withdrew. That's another good thing about this app. If you ever need money, if you're ever strapped for cash, you can easily just withdraw uh, whatever amount you need and then it'll be in your account in three days. It shows that I've earned $219 in dividends, so that's free money. It, it is taxable, but uh, you know, $219 is not a huge amount, so it's not something I need to worry about. And you can see that the total gains is $875, so out of uh, all the money that I put in here, I gain $875 in value plus uh, $220 in dividends. So that's about $1,100 free money. And if I scroll down, you can see the history. I invest $100 a week and you can see they charge me a dollar. Anything over $5,000, it will be 0.005% or something like that. So eventually as the balance grows, the subscription fee is going to go higher. Uh, and then if I keep going, you see some of the dividends. Uh, like for example, down here on March 26, I got $12.58 of free money. All right, so that's all the history. If I go to the potential, now this is just hypothetical, but right now because I'm investing $100 a week, uh, I'm at age 38, so that's how much is in there now. Uh, by the time I hit retirement age, which is about 60 years old, I'm gonna have uh, $271,000. If I add 10 more years, it'll basically double. And so that's the benefit of long-term investing because all those dividends that you're earning are getting reinvested and they're just growing and growing. So another 10 years and it'll double again. Uh, and so I'll be at a million dollars by age uh, 80. Now, because I have multiple accounts, I could potentially just keep this money in here and keep investing until I hit 80. And uh, once I retire, then um, I can start using some of the other accounts, the ones with the bigger balances. And if I go into the menu here, you know, this Acorn Strength is just basically, it gets you to do all the steps that you need to to set up your account. Uh, they want me to add another account, but I don't, don't want to do that. So that's why I'm at 90% instead of 100. So if I click on this invest for your future, uh, this pops up. It says on my balance, uh, I can do a one-time uh, deposit. I can withdraw money right there. Uh, you can see that my portfolio is set to aggressive. I recommend that, that if you're still young, keep it at aggressive. And the older you get, the closer you get to retirement age, you start uh, dropping it down to, you know, either moderately aggressive, moderate, uh, moderately conservative, and conservative. And the biggest difference is if you look at conservative, uh, most of the money is in corporate bonds and government bonds so that's basically almost like cash it's uh they're guaranteed there's very low risk 
but if you look at aggressive you can see that most of the money is into large company stocks and then small company stocks and international companies and so that's just saying that most of your money is actually in the market and it's going to go up and down in value which is okay as long as you're looking at long term but once you get close to retirement so if i was 55 years old and i was still at aggressive and let's say another crash happens like it did in october and then there's a chance that my portfolio is going to lose a lot of money and I'm not going to have enough time to retirement to recover that. So the closer that I get to actually using this account, the more I want to move to the conservative uh, side. And um, Roundup, it monitors the account that you, you have linked to this. And anytime you spend, it rounds it up. So like if you spend $250, uh, it'll round it up to $3. So it'll take those 50 cents and then it'll add it. And whenever it hits $5, it'll withdraw from your account. So you can see right here, the recurring is $100 every Tuesday. I do another 100 on the stash application, but I changed the date so that that way they're not that close together. So I think that one's on Friday, I'm, I don't remember. And the performance, you can see that I started investing, then I put $1,000, that's that first initial jump. And then I started doing like 25, and then 50, and then 100 uh, a week. And then I took it all out, and then I put it on Robinhood and started uh, buying individual stocks there. But then I realized that's a little bit riskier, so it's good to have something to balance out that risk. And uh, that's when I decided to come back to Acorns, and then I started doing, uh, I, I did another big deposit right there in, in the middle, and then slowly started going up and up and up. And then I paused in April of last year because I, I went into a basically debt repayment, so I started paying all my debt. And then once we got uh, debt free, then I started investing again, and you see that, that uh, motion again towards the right. And then everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. The invite your friends is basically a link so you can get referrals to your friends. Uh, you get $5, they get $5. That's the link that I'm going to put on the description of this video. So if you get interested, please use my link uh, just so you can get $5 and I can get $5. And then the settings just go in there and you set up a profile and all that is self-explanatory. All right guys, so that's it. That was a really quick down and dirty walkthrough of the Acorns app. Let me know what you guys think. If you're interested in investing, go ahead and use the referral link on the description of this video. If there's anything else that you wanna know about the app or something that I left out or that was confusing for you, just let me know. I can always answer your questions on the comment section below or I can even do another video if I missed a lot. So again, I only really use Acorns as leverage so that all my investments aren't really in a risky situation. That's the biggest benefit of using Acorns that you actually have professionals uh, that are in the field investing the money for you. There's no guarantees that you're gonna, you know, multiply your money or you're not, that you're not gonna lose your money. Uh, but you get a nice little average return of seven percent, eight percent, somewhere on there, which is pretty standard with the market. And uh, there's not really uh, as much risk as when you're choosing your own stock. So, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel, hit that little bell so you get notifications when I upload another video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.